How deep do these metal detectors actually go? Can they really find something buried 80 feet underground? Well, the answer isn't just about the machine. It's also about the technology behind it, the soil beneath your feet and how you use it. Let's break it down and explore what's really possible in the world of deep-seeking metal detectors. What affects depth? Before we get into specific models, let's talk about what really affects how deep a detector can go. Technology. VLF, very low frequency, is great for small, shallow items. GPR, ground penetrating radar, sends signals deep into the ground to detect large anomalies. And multi-sensor systems combine several methods to give layered, accurate scans. Coil size matters. Larger coils reach deeper, but may lose pinpoint accuracy. Target size and material. Gold veins or larger metallic objects are easier to detect at greater depths. Tiny coins? Not so much. Ground conditions. Wet, mineral-heavy soil reduces detection depth. Dry, non-mineral soil allows the deepest scans. And of course, skill. The best detector won't help if it's not used correctly. Calibration, scanning technique, and interpreting the data matter a lot. Deep-seeking detectors. Let's explore the real contenders in the world of deep metal detection. OKM EXP 6000 Professional Plus. One of the most advanced GPR detectors on the market. It offers up to 30 meters of depth. That's 98.42 feet in the right conditions. With real-time 3D imaging, multi-sensor arrays, and interchangeable coils, it's made for professional treasure hunters and archaeologists. OCAM EXP5500, the newest model, and it's expected to match the 6000's depth and power. Ideal for those who want cutting-edge features but slightly more budget-friendly than the 6000 Pro Plus. OKM Rover C4. It offers up to 25 meters, 82 feet, of depth in optimal conditions. It also does not support gold coils. It is one piece that can be used for gold prospecting. So you can say it's built for gold prospecting. Vertex Quantum VX900. Compact, portable, and powerful. It can go up to 12 meters deep and includes both 2D and 3D scanning modes. Whether you're searching for gold or surveying land, this unit offers a great balance between depth and ease of use. Other models. OKM Fusion Professional Plus reaches 21 meters and is perfect for archaeological scans. Fusion Light and Evolution NTX. Entry-level options with 8-10 meter depth, great for beginners. Geoseeker goes up to 250 meters, but it's not for metal. It's for water and void detection. Choosing the right one. So how do you choose the right detector? Want max depth plus full visuals? Go for EXP 6000 or EXP 5500. Focused on gold hunting? Rover C4 and VX900 are excellent options. Looking for affordable deep detection? Fusion Light or Evolution NTX give you solid depth without a huge investment. Need to scan wide areas like caves or water? Geoseeker is your answer. Remember, even the best detector won't work at max depth if your soil is highly mineralized or if the target is too small. Final thoughts plus real-world use. In real life, most users won't reach 25 meters every time. But under the right conditions, with large conductive targets, low mineral soil, and good scanning technique, you absolutely can get near that depth. Also, detectors like the EXP5500 are great not just for treasure hunters, but also for professionals in construction, archaeology, and geology. So yes, the hype is real. If you know what you're doing, want to learn more and see real comparisons, check out the full blog post. The link is in the description. And if you love daily knowledge tips and want to connect with people just like you, make sure to join our Facebook group. Link in the description as well. Visit our store at modernmetaldetectors.com. We offer free shipping on orders over $250, no sales tax, free gifts with certain detectors, a low price guarantee, financing options to help with your purchase. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.